Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Music with Todd Ledbetter. Appreciate you being here. So uh, I was introduced to Gojira a little while ago, and um, I found it very interesting, and I realized that there's a lot of fans of Gojira. Okay, there's a lot of people that really like that band, that band uh, and there's a real passion behind them. A very, very interesting band. I like them a lot. And then I went, I go like a, every... Uh, twice a year I go camping with some buddies that I used to work with and that's coming up again. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, one of my buddies says, have you heard Gojira? You know, we're trying to outdo them. We're trying to like, out. I'm like, have you heard Opeth? Have you heard Porcupine Tree? Have you heard this? Have you heard that? Uh, have you heard Riverside? So he's like, Gojira. I'm like, yes, I have. I've done some Gojira on my channel. So he requested a song. And so I did it for him. And I've been getting into him ever since. So we're back with another Gojira. It's super exciting. Uh, I've seen a couple of live videos too, which I really, really enjoy watching uh, watching them live. Um, and this particular song that uh, was requested on the last Gojira is from the Way of All Flesh album, 2008. And it's The Art of Dying, as you can see in the title. So that's what we're heading into. So let me get you... All set up here, and we're going to check out The Art of Dying from Gojira. It's almost 10 minute song, so I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of goodness in here. Already cool. <laughs> Didn't expect that. I should have, looking at the co uh, cover right there. Kind of gives off those vibes, huh? Makes me want to know what came before this.
Mr. Drum style. Or drum beat, I should say. Just kind of playing the bass pedals, double bass pedal, and other things. Kind of enhancing it. It's cool. Well, rock and roll. I like the bass in this part too. Is it fading out? I wonder what this sounds like going forward. Not like that. That was good. That was really good. That was a long, that was over two minutes of a fade out and ending there. But it's cool because it kind of, what I like about those is that, you know, it's kind of going on for a while and you could just you just kind of trance out on it and then it just kind of starts fading. That's, it was a little unusually long fade, if you ask me. Uh, not that I didn't like it. I thought it was great. And then I liked the way they 
ended it with that sort of reverse, whatever that was. I wonder what that would have been and how that related to the song or if it related to anything else in this album <clears throat> in the forward motion. But uh, that was good. I really liked the vocals too, but that was a, that was a, that was a powerful song. It's a really just down and dirty song. It's cool. Some really cool drum stuff in that song too. Um, I was talking about when he was playing his double bass, but he was also like, oh, it sounded like a guy. It sounded like he was doing rim shots and toms and stuff. Um, kind of instead of doing like super fast double bass, it's like he was interspersing those uh, his two hands in with his feet and kind of like making it sound faster and faster, you know. It was kind of cool, but it was a different sort of, you know, sonically it's different. It's just not going, it was giving you some kind of different sounds going on there percussion wise. I thought that was really interesting, but a very good song. I liked all of it. It was, I mean, I liked everybody, everybody. <clears throat> I'm really becoming a big Gojira fan so far. I really like their style. It seems like they kind of transcend, uh, transcend styles too, because they, they go through I've, to me uh they have they have some depth to the, their creativity and 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 the way that they're, they uh write songs that was a, probably one of the heaviest songs that I think I've heard from them one of the heaviest at least some of the other ones um I noticed that the guitar player singer he does a lot of kind of uh kind of tapping type rhythm which is really unique in the way he does it and cool so i'm kind of been hearing that in some of the songs so this is a little different for me which i really like uh if i didn't mention that already it's good i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep going with gojira i'm finding this band to be quite fun quite interesting i like their uh i just like their song arrangements and and their creativity and how they uh, produce their music, you know, what comes out of their heads and and what goes into ours is really cool. So having said that, another Gojira video. Super excited for that. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, I don't ask all the time, but uh, I'd love for you to uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the channel and uh, also explore it too because I've got almost 1300 uh, this week I'll have 1300 videos on this channel that's a lot of videos uh, you know for for a uh, reaction channel it's a lot and most of it's curated by you guys so uh, you know it's not necessarily all my taste but a lot of it is my taste now because you've shown me and exposed me to bands that I just love Gojira, Gojira being one of them for example, so if you like this kind of music, there's plenty of other music on the channel for you to like as well. So explore the channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, help me out if you can in those easy ways, uh, you know, how we do here on YouTube. Because it's hard to get any kind of footing, any traction. I don't expect to ever be a huge channel or blow up or anything like that, but it's fun to watch, watch it grow. It kind of inspires me. So <clears throat> love for you to be part of the whole thing. And uh, make sure you check out my Patreon and my uh, Ko-Fi as well. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you all. Have a great day.